Hi everybody, um, this is Abby. Um, I'm coming to you today. I will first off, I hope that everyone is doing well. Um, I'm doing excellent. I can't complain. Um, I'm coming to you because I'm going to do, um, I guess, a tutorial on bentonite clay um, mask, hair mask. Um, I'm getting ready to go in the kitchen and I'm going to take you with me and we're going to mix up the bentonite clay and then we'll come back in here and apply it. So um, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so here we are um, in my kitchen and um, we're just going to mix up the bentonite clay and what I'm going to use, um, we have some measuring cups here and spoons. We're going to use a glass bowl, um, a plastic um, or rubber spatula because we don't want to use anything metal to stir because it may... Um, because of the metals, um, you don't want it to react and cause some type of reaction. Um, we're going to use bentonite clay. Um, and I got this from Soap Goods. Um, we're going to use a little bit of amla oil. We're going to use some amla powder. Shikakai powder. Some water. We just have some water here in the cup. And... What a, oh, we're going to use um, some coconut oil. We're going to use some olive oil and avocado oil. And you don't have to use everything that I'm using. A lot of people just like to use apple cider vinegar and the bentonite. And then others like to use um, just bentonite and water. Um, I prefer to use the add the amla powder and the shikakai powders because um, I just like the per, um, the additional benefits that they provide for me um, in my particular um, hair and um, I like to use um, the majority avocado oil instead of olive oil because the Avocado oil um, is an excellent, excellent strengthener. So I have um, about this much bentonite, and you can add as much as you like. Um, you can add it as needed. Um, you don't want it to be watery. You want it to be in a clay, mud, pasty-like consistency. Um, so now we're just going to add um, a little bit of olive oil. Um, then we'll add some avocado oil, um, okay, we're going to add some coconut oil, and we're just going to Put some of that out. I love this thing. This is so neat. This is Parachute 100% um, pure coconut oil. It's an Indian brand, but this is really good. I love it because coconut oil can be very, very messy because you know it melts and then you have to re let it resolify. And it's that's good. I like it. Um, so just a tad bit of amla oil. You don't need much, maybe um, just a half a capful. I like that for the smell. And then we're going to add um, a little omelet powder. And I don't measure. I just kind of eye it. Just add a little bit. It's messy. <clears throat> so I'm actually just going to use what I have in the bottom of the bag there. And this is Hesh. Um, amla powder and amla powder has um, excellent benefits um, you know most noted for helping to prevent hair hair fall which is you know shedding hair loss um, helps promote growth supposedly but I like it because it's um, it, it actually helps make your hair shinier and also um, it adds um, some darkness it keeps your hair nice and dark 
and then I'm going to add um, some shakakai just because I like um, I like the fact that the shakakai um, it really does um, it helps with your scalp it's just really really good um, for dandruff if you have any dandruff um, or any kind of build up on the scalp and since I use the, my bentonite clay as um, a mask for my hair you know it's a deep deep um, conditioning mask I like it because it provides that extra cleansing um, that I need that's vital so this is what it looks like right now and it's you know the oils are absorbed already because it it absorbs moisture um, and it sucks everything up and basically that's what it, you want it to do because that's what it does for your scalp it pulls out any impurities um, from the hair and scalp um, you might want to get something that's a little more um, stronger than a rubber spatula because I'm having some um, mixing difficulties here I think because I have a this big one you just wanna mix this up and like I said you don't want it to be liquidy you want it to be a nice muddy um, consistency you want to make sure you mix and get um, all of the lumps and stuff out and this is what we have so far um, and like I said you may have to add some more um, have a big head so I got a lot of um, surface to cover so um, and then I mean, you just want to let it set for a few minutes to absorb all that um, moisture and get everything all nice and <clears throat> absorbed. And then you want to apply it to your hair. Some people leave it on for, you know, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. Some people leave it for 30. Me, myself, um, I tend to just put it on my hair and leave it on anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I have gone longer, but keep in mind that it is going to tighten, like um, when I'm moisturizing your face, how your face feels very, very tight. That's how your scalp's going to feel. So if you have like fragile um, edges or anything, you might want to have like some olive oil or like some aloe vera and water or something mixed together so that you can just um, rub that or spray that across your head. Um, so that you don't have any, um, you don't cause any premature breaking due to the fact that you have the um, the bentonite drying up and pulling because it, it's heavy and it's, it'll weigh the, those fragile ends down. So this is the end product, and it's a lot in there. It just kind of looks like it's not, but like this is how much we have, and I mean you can make it more um, liquidy than this but this is good for me because this is a paste um, so now I'm gonna let this sit for a few moments and then um, we'll be back in the bathroom and we'll be applying this okay